Quite simply, people who work in legal and protective services make life a lot safer for the rest of us. They protect our personal safety, our legal rights, our material goods, our cities, our roads, and our homes. Many of these jobs involve taking risks so others might be saved from harm. Often, you have to face the uglier side of human nature without allowing yourself to be pulled down. Many Americans realize they owe the police, fire departments, legal profession, and jailers a debt of gratitude. In some cities, the police are called our finest, and firefighters are called our bravest. But the daily truth is that often these jobs are done with infrequent thank yous from the community. For police, fire, and corrections workers, there are often good retirement and health benefits, but the pay is not high considering the risk and importance of the work. By right, Officer Franken, you're assigned 153, lunch will be 11 o'clock, abandon autos. Usually, these jobs are available to those who pass a written and physical exam and are then admitted to training courses. People who seek supervisory positions often take college degrees in fields such as criminology, forensics, and corrections administration. To go into law enforcement, a good sense of self-esteem is helpful to carry you through when the going gets tough. Compassion helps, too, being able to understand why people get into trouble and wanting to help them. Headquarters to 142, reported 5-7 with injuries, Maine and Anderson. That's also true for lawyers and others in the legal profession. Attorneys extend their higher education to get the training they need, and often they earn salaries that reflect their expertise, education, and experience. They are not called heroes the way police and firefighters are, but they do safeguard our system of justice, and that is the very foundation of our freedom.